Sponge Sponge Murphy here. So I'm going to do another Let's Build model. Um, so the Vargas and the Crypt Horrors box, as you know, or as you might have seen from the unboxing kit. This is a dual kit, so you get to make either the Crypt Horrors or you can make the Vargas. Um, I don't think there is an option to make two of them, unless you really want to get funky with magnets and start doing stuff like that. A lot of bodies. I think the legs are okay. I think maybe the bodies. I can't remember the parts really off hard. But uh, I'm not going to be doing like magnet parts. Uh, for like to get to them on it. But uh, I'm going to build for this for this video. I'm going to start building the Vargas. Now I do have another box of these. And I made one Crypt Horror out of it. I made the guy with the. I was going to say crutch. What do you call it? Tombstone. So in another video, I'm going to build the other two guys from it so at least I'll have like I did get the two boxes to have two units or one big unit of crypt horrors but I think I'll just build up the Vargas as well to kind of grow on me a lot of stuff I have I didn't like at the start but the more I stay with it the more it grows on me so um, yeah so I'm going to do the Vargas I'm going to build up the tree from here now what the plan is I'm going to do the bodies uh, this guy with the wings in the back, I don't know. But I'm going to do the arms, and it's going to blue tack the, the arms in. Because I'm going to paint them separate, and then, I'll, you know, I'll just blue tack them on just to see what it's looked like when it'll be finished. So, uh, I'm going to get my trusty clippers, trusty knife, and I'm going to get started. So, I'll see you guys in a couple of seconds, and hopefully, I don't cut the fingers off myself. Alright guys, so a bit of a change in light here now, it's a bit later on in the day that I'm getting these guys finished up. So I have the tree even made, uh, the wings are all kept separate. Um, the one together pretty easy, a little bit tricky with the legs but nothing to complain about, like it's trying to find the, the right pose that they're in. Um, so we'll go through them, I have to keep them in order to make sure I know which way the wings go on each one. So this is the first guy I did. This guy, he's just on one leg, so you have a little small bit of a scenic kind of part for the base there. Uh, the parts are really nice looking, the bodies look great, the heads look really good. Let me get a zoom in on the head on him. There you go. Some glue lines on it. Yeah, nice stance on the guy. Looks like he's, you know, leaping forward. It looked way nicer with the wings on it. I did try to blue tack the wings in, but you see the way there's kind of like little holes in them. So while I was trying to glue that one, I think like that, it's there. And then when I did go to the other side, it started to sink down and fall off. So it just really wasn't worth it. So it's just be really fine looking until I get them painted and then glue them on. Uh, this guy, he has these little wings that kind of go on his back as well. So, or maybe it's that side. So that's another little thing to add on to him. Um, the funny thing is, this guy, his name is on the instruction booklet. The other two are called Vargas, and this guy is called a Vargoin. So maybe that's what the name of like the champion for the unit is called. I'm not too sure. I haven't really looked it up, I only thought of that now, once I kind of have seen it in the instruction booklet. Uh, second guy, you know, the body's pretty much the same. The, um, you know, a pretty normal stance, nothing too special. His back is separate, it's like two bits of fur coming up in like a V-shape. Which is really nice to kind of separate it a bit. Um, I think all these heads are nearly the same. I don't think there's massive differences. This guy has a bit of a point here in all this full zoom in. Put the focus on. Yeah, see the kinda his nose comes on a bit further with other guys kinda like like some more pull up, like a little kind of piggy looking type of nose. Um last guy then Pretty standard. Well, it's pretty much like the first guy, except with a uh, bit of a less stance. Like he's just kind of normal standing there, big furry back, and a lot more fur on this guy's back than the uh, than the first guy. So um, should I get this in picture? 
there's the three of them together. Uh, the wing size, they're pretty big. You know, the wing, like there's the, if you put a standing up next to them, you know, they're taller than them. So, but they're, the wings are kind of, like, they're a bit funny. Like, one's like up one and the other wing is down on the other arm, so. Yeah, so that's it. Um, I hope it gives you guys a look at what these are can look like before they're going to be getting painted. So, um, stay tuned for next video. We're going to do a Let's Build a Crypt Horror. And, uh, yeah, keep an eye for, when I, for a Let's Paint video. I'll get these guys done up as well. And uh, hit the like button if you liked it. And leave a comment. And uh, once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.